It's a time for frolicking in the garden and smelling roses, but if you're prone to hay fever and sinusitis, you probably know it as a season of sniffles, red eyes and scratchy throats. It's about to get worse. A highly allergenic weed native to North America has been detected in South African pollen spore traps. Researchers hadn't expected this to happen so soon. They're urging weed control boards to speedily remove ragweed. Professor Johnny Peter from the UCT Lung Institute joins us now. Very good morning to you. Tell us about ragweed. Good morning. Yes, so the common ragweed, or actually it's even known as hay fever weed, uh, is of the genus Ambrosia. And to give you some perspective on this, this is native to North America and is estimated to there be responsible for half of all allergic rhinitis or hay fever sufferers that you were talking about, the sniffles. Now, with uh, climate change, what we are seeing, and, and we're seeing this in Europe, is that ragweed is starting to invade northwards, and, of, and that's in the northern hemisphere. And so we actually expect it to start migrating southwards, southwards in the southern hemisphere. However, we didn't really expect it uh, last year when we set up our national pollen monitoring network. We didn't really expect it to find it in our traps so soon. So, so this is some cause for concern. It still hasn't reached uh, sort of very high levels, so there might be a chance for us to control it. Uh, and up to this point, we haven't looked at all for ragweed sensitization amongst allergy sufferers in South Africa. Okay, if you are not able to control it, though I hope you can, what sort of impact is it going to have on us? Well, it's likely to, you know, cause more difficulty for existing uh, hay fever and asthma sufferers if they, uh, you know, develop uh, sensitization to that. And what could also additionally happen is new people would start to develop hay fever or symptoms related to this very allergenic pollen. Because the thing is, is that not all pollens are really created equal. And, you know, the ragweed pollen, the proteins in that are particularly allergenic. Yeah, I was going to ask you, as you're talking, my nose is feeling incredibly itchy, but what is it about that that makes your nose run and that affects you and gives you such, such hell? Well, the thing is, is that so, you know, different people, if you sort of have a genetic risk to make an antibody which is allergic, allergic to otherwise kind of harmless substances. And then in the environment, there are certain types of proteins. They have particular sugars. Uh, they, they can have different enzymatic functions. And those proteins tend to drive the allergy response in those susceptible much more than other things. So if you look at all the pollens, what you see is there are lots and lots of plants, but only some of them, some of the grasses like in South Africa, rye and Bermuda, or the, na the, 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 the uh, north hemisphere trees like plane tree, oak tree, these things are much more allergenic than, say, for instance, endemic uh, plants. And similarly for ragweed, it's a particularly bad and allergenic uh, protein. Johnny, you said you're trying to stop it. How do you do that? So with small amounts of uh, ragweed on a small stand, so the counts have still been low, we hope to, you know, you can use mechanical means, right? You can try and track it down, find out where it is, and then actually physically remove it. So those would be strategies when it's not too bad, and we hope to implement those kinds of things. When, you know, it gets more kind of uh, set into a country and invades into more areas, then you need to start looking at other kind of uh, sort of weed control methods. And in the European networks and in Northern Hemisphere, there's looking, they're looking now, which is quite exciting, at some at biological control methods. So there's different insects and other things that you can think of. So there is a sort of uh, whole slew of research on strategies to control it. But in this early stages, we'd be looking first at what we call mechanical control, literally trying to find it, remove it. Johnny Peter, thank you.